Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to make a review of a 24 watt LED outdoor light from Livarno Lux, uh, available at Lidl. And one disclaimer, uh, because I will use it in the long run, so actually today I'm going to talk about uh, basic features and my first impression. And actually the proper review it will be in, let's say, 2-3 years time, so... Um, Yes, I will come back uh, to this LED light uh, later on, not later, quite a bit late later on. So, uh, first of all, um, basic features. As I mentioned, uh, 24 watts LED, um, it's, it's working with a voltage of uh, 230 uh, volts, so it's uh, for European uh, only. Uh, a monitor sensor detection is approximately 180 degrees. Uh, power consumption of this LED is 0.8 watt. Uh, LED spotlight uh, uh, illumination is approximately 2000 uh, lumens. Color temperature is approximately 5000 kelvins. So it's a neutral white. Uh, beam angle it's approximately 110 uh, degrees for LED LED and uh, the lifespan it's uh, 3000 hours of constant uh, of constant uh, working so 3000 hours it's a lot and um, what else special product uh, which is suitable for extreme temperatures below minus 21 degrees so in northern Europe it's not uh, not some, I would say, extreme. It's rather standard during the night uh, in, in winter time. So I'm curious how it's gonna uh, work with uh, minus temperatures because producer is claiming it has a three years warranty. So uh, we will verify this. Um, what else? Um, as, a, as a comparison, this 0.8 uh, LED it's it's it should ref, uh, reflect to according to uh, what producer is claiming 120 watt halogen uh, bulb but i don't think it's the straight comparison um, uh, fair because there's some reflection points i don't think that such efficient is uh, because it would be a hundred times greater the efficiency than the normal normal bulb and actually from the for instance, regular light bulbs, if you are buying LEDs compared to uh, old traditional, it's like a 10, 15, maybe 20 percentage. So this is the, the, the reduction. About the, the the light itself, it's made out of, I think it's a cast aluminium. Uh, it's, 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 it's looking quite, quite nice. This is the where you can, uh, where you should uh, plug the, your cables, and okay, the uh, the angle, it's it's uh, decent, but what uh, what uh, doesn't I, what I doesn't like, it's those things. You can um, adjust the uh, time of uh, of of sorry in this. Uh, you can adjust the time, how long it will uh, work after detection, the sensitivity, and. Uh, at which level of darkness it will start to work and even even if two first uh, are working quite properly this for timing it's working in the way that I think I will bra break it uh, soon of course you should uh, I mean on the beginning of the installation you will adjust and then you will forget about it but really the, the impression is that actually there is something wrong with it so uh, it could be a little bit uh, better for, um, for because it's uh, for outdoor uh, purposes as well it, uh, it has a uh, IP44 as far as I remember it's um, it's resistance to flash uh, splashes so everything here it's well sealed I mean here and the weakest point I think is it's it's this connection so Actually, what you have, what you are getting together, together with this set, is this this cover. But it's made out of rigid plastic, so it's not a rubber. 
so the ceiling might be a weak point and of course some installation uh, screws um, okay uh, let me know uh, in the in the comments what is your opinion about this uh, uh, outdoor light uh, do you have some uh, similar uh, and and how they are working so i'm curious about that and as always thank you for watching stay tuned and see you in two or three years time for the for the final review and uh, summary of this slide bye